Oh boy. This is gonna be interesting. It's gonna be a good day, I think. As long as we don't get downboard on. Uh, uh, underneath this tree for some cover. Good morning. So, it's been raining off and on all morning. I just heard some thunder. Uh, we've been packing up the food now. I'm gonna make the oatmeal. I'm gonna get in the canoe and go. Try not to get wet, but we'll see. Spiderweb. <sighs> Food survived. This is what we're dealing with. This is where we came from. This is where we're going. It's where all the thunder's coming from, too. Leaving the campsite. It's uh, looking a little sketchy today. We're gonna try to make it to Florence. Judging by the thunder we keep on hearing in the clouds, we may make a few pit stops based on lightning, um, but we'll see. It is cooler feeling today. It's definitely not uh, um, like as scorching as it usually is, but it's it's just as humid, so it's gonna be a good day, I think. As long as we don't get downboard on. Just saw a giant flash of lightning. Creeping rumble of thunder. Hmm, it is moving uh, right to left on your screen. Um, and what's coming for us is all broken up, but we may take our time to paddle this <laughs> and wait for that to pass up there. Looks like there used to be a bridge here. According to the map, it was taken down in 2016. Looks like it's been a lot longer. Here okay, we're on the 900 and whatever meter to Dee's Lake. And uh, guessing it's gonna be downhill, but we'll see. Mosquitoes aren't too bad. Because of my experiment yesterday between the DEET and the uh, other stuff, which I can never remember. Um, I'm only wearing that other stuff today. Let's see if it is any different than the teeth. Nice little lake we got here. A little mosquito-y. Oh, wow. Start to rain. 
or is it lost? Not lost, but I have been following Jeff's map, and there's only one portage on it. Flipped over the uh, map, and on Ottertooth's map, there's two. And the one that's on Jeff's map is the old one. So we're in this little bay here. And the portage probably used to be here, but it's not anymore. We can't find any opening. Really coming down now. Not really, but the hardest rain of the trip. Still can't find the portage. So we can't find the uh, portage. It's an otter tooth map, so we're gonna go back to the uh, the portage that we could kind of see. Maybe there's a small hole in the, in the forest that's on Jeff's map and otter tooth map, but it says it's the old one. Um, and we're going to uh, see what it's like. <laughs> well, we found it. Turns out we're just blind. It's gonna be raining all day, probably. this tree for some cover. It's not like we're not already so wet. Yeah, <laughs> just got really heavy there for a second. It's a pretty, uh, pretty little spot going downstream. Uh. Lots of water. Lots of mosquitoes. Lots of rain. They should put in the safety kit to good use. Yeah. It works. Sure, all that wading going up those rapids. This is your reward. Pretty nice. We're gonna stop at this site here, which is pretty cool. Look at that. Giant chunk of rock. Bam! Just like that blue sky, sunny. Nice little site here. Bunch of tent pads, areas. We would stay here. Great views. Well deserved after all that. Some uh, fresh blueberries. Big ones, too. Pretty good. Only took a couple. Leave the rest for the bears. Back on the river. Apparently this is a lake. Uh-huh. Too far away. 
some beautiful views today. So our current situation is, around this corner is Florence. It is windy. It's picking up too. And if you turn this around, you look at me, you can see right behind me, there's some, uh, some sketchy weather. So we're gonna try to get to the top end. Uh, there's a, there's a uh, can't say the top end of Florence, right around this corner. We're gonna get there, we're gonna hunker down, and we're gonna wait out this storm. So what are you thinking? So we got the canoe and the crutch of the tree. And uh, all our stuff underneath it. And we will eventually be underneath it. Welcome to the cabin. <laughs> Anybody ever have a Kevlar cabin? <laughs> <laughs> Feel pretty safe underneath here. Some good cracks of thunder so far. You can really hear the wind now. There's another group out on the lake and you could just hear them yelling stroke, stroke, stroke as fast as they can go. Because <laughs> this big bang of thunder and then they would yell, oh. They would yell louder and. I think they have a campsite just over there. We can kind of see some blue or some green, like a tent or something. So yeah. I think they were just out for a day trip. Coming out to look. There hasn't been any rain. Looks like it went that way. It's the fire pit. It's never been used. <laughs> See some blue sky up there. Here comes the rain. That might be rain up there, right in there. So we're gonna head back to the canoe now. Oh boy. This is gonna be interesting. Raining now. It's been pretty unspectacular, really, huh. for how much noise it's making. Well, that was lame. Nothing even happened. It's really sunny out. <laughs> oh, really dark over there, though. Yeah. So it's been a bit since I went by. So we're gonna head back out. It's now sunny. What's the sequence of events today? Thunderstorm, sun, rain, sun, thunderstorm, sun. Hopefully sun for the rest of the day. Best part about this, no wind. Although stormy and cloudy, it's still beautiful. Weird to see a structure in the forest. There's a cabin in there. Oh yeah, that's collapsed on the inside. There's a stove, bed, oh, it's still full of stuff. the broom is still here, that's cool, bed stone. we reach what might be our campsite for tonight, it's a nice one, but guess what? We're being chased by weather again. Yay! So we're gonna get set up quickly. Almost got set up. Almost. Guess what? It's raining again. 
Mosquitoes too. Oh. One of those days, eh? <laughs> Thankfully, tonight's meal is dinner in a bag. So <laughs> boil water and we just toss it in and wait 20 minutes. I'm pretty happy about that. Little bunny. Chewing away. Maybe it's a hair. Don't think it's big enough. Stuff's a bit wet. All steamy. Kind of a uh... Hot tenting a little bit. Tonight's supper, we got backpackers pantry, three cheese macaroni and cheese, and we have mountain houses, chili macaroni with beef. We're gonna, uh, this one takes a lot less time than this one, so we're going to pour one out, split it in half, eat it. And then by the time we're done eating it, we can have the backpackers pantry. Our consensus tastes really good. Maybe a little bit too much water. I think so. that's kind of a general rule of thumb with the freeze-dried meals. Add less water than it says. You can always add more yeah. later. Yeah. But it's very tasty. It's very good. Quite enjoy it. Hmm. Our thoughts on the backpackers mac and cheese. Eh, you could probably make your own and bring it in. be a lot better. Just bring in your own noodles and stuff. We're going to have mac and cheese tomorrow for lunch. No, last day. Last day for lunch. It's just uh, Annie's mac and cheese. It'll probably taste a lot better than this. And it certainly costs a lot less. So It's good for in a pinch if you really need it and you don't need the steps. And you just need to add water, but yeah. It's not bad, it's just no. not great. Yeah, not as good as other mac and cheese we've had. <laughs> Some issues with the bear hang. Um, went to go to hang the food and the branch wasn't strong enough. I guess it got wet or it just wasn't strong enough and it, it bent over so far that the that the uh, rope slid down and off of it. So we did a frantic search for a second branch. This site has nothing. Any of the trees that are big enough are are um, really big. Um, I don't know, like massive, massive pines. So you would need like a hundred foot rope just to get up and over and then back down again. So we found a, a tree. Hopefully it, uh, hopefully it holds overnight and we'll see in the morning. Need help? Yes. <laughs> These little guys are all over the site. And they they bite and they hurt a lot. <laughs> <laughs> 